Christmas Day is the one day out of the whole year where it's generally accepted we consume the most amount of calories by having an absolutely huge Christmas dinner and a whole plethora of snacks and drinks. But when it comes to exercising and calculating the calories that we're burning, there are a number of different ways to go about it. There are indeed. So today, myself and Alex using three different gadgets and we're assessing the differences between them. Oh, so we can find out whether we're burning more or less calories that we anticipated. Should we do it? Let's do it. For our little experiment, we are going to be riding indoors in a controlled environment. Reason for that? Well, it makes our experiment that little bit better. But there's a second reason as well, isn't there, Connor? Yeah, it's absolutely freezing today. It is Baltic. So we are going to be riding the brutal 21 hairpins and over 1,000 metres of elevation that Alpda Zwift has to offer. And then that way we can assess how many calories we burn by using our three different methods. Not only that, you and I can compare to see if we follow the same sort of trends. Yeah, it'll be interesting. But before we do crack on, it is worth giving you a heads up that whilst calorie counting is a very rough and basic overview of how much food you're consuming and your energy expenditure during activities, it definitely isn't the gold standard and I don't think it's personally something I'd recommend. As we found out in a film on GCN Plus titled Way to the Peloton, it can lead to disordered eating patterns and actually it's not the healthiest of practices to, kind of, to, to, go, to undertake. Um, we did a bit of a deeper dive into why that's the case in a video on GCN which you can find on the channel now. So if you want a bit more knowledge, head over there and, and check that one out. Um, but right now, we are going to crack on. We're yeah. going to ride our bikes and we're going to show you the differences which are out there, the gadgets that are on your bike. Right, let's get on and we'll show everyone our different pieces of equipment, shall we? Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> that sounds really weird. <laughs> <laughs> So while I'm just riding super easy and letting Connor try and catch me up, let me tell you about the three different methods of how we're going to be calculating our calories today. So the simplest and cheapest method is going to be we're simply going to record our time and then by using the time, we can use an online calculator, input a few basic metrics such as the time of our activity, the height and the weight of the rider, and then also depending on which online calculator you use, you can input the average speed of your ride. As I mentioned, this is the cheapest method because, well, it's free. Next method of calorie counting is using a smartwatch, which I think is fairly common that most people have one. The ones we're using are pretty high tech and do far more than just measuring your heart rate and counting the calories you do. But that's the purpose that we're gonna use it for today. This is a relatively low cost method of doing it, but by having that optical heart rate sensor on the back, it should, in theory, make it a little bit more accurate. And then finally, the most expensive method that we're going to use to calculate our calories is by using a dedicated cycle computer like this and then pairing that up to either a power meter or the indoor trainer that we're using so that we can get a power reading. Now, clearly, this is going to be the most expensive method of calculating your calories, but common sense and science says that it should be the most accurate one because it's clearly measuring the amount of work that we do. Now we've done a short little warm up, we're already a little bit hot and sweaty and to ride indoors we're using Wahoo kicker trainers and we've got a headwind fan so we can be blasted with air because well I'm pretty sure it's going to get hot and sweaty in here. Let's do it. While you watch Connor and I riding up out to Zwift, let me explain how calories and food are calculated. In the most basic sense, food is burned and then the released energy is used to heat up a known quantity of water. One calorie is equal to the amount of energy required to raise the temperature of one gram of water by one degree Celsius. Anyway, this is part of a larger experiment that we're doing where we're seeing how much exercise we have to do in order to burn off an entire Christmas dinner. And if you want to see that video, well, it's over on the GCN channel. And with any luck, we'll have a link in the description down below. Right, back to us working our way up this climb. Right, Connor. We've slightly de-sweated, if that's even a word. Um, I've got the results here. So uh, between our three different methods of assessing our calorie burn we had, um, just using the online calculator, smartwatch, and then the power meter. So I'll run through my results first. So using the online calculator, 
I burnt 1,141 calories. Quite a respectable amount, I feel. Using the smartwatch, 853. And then the power meter, 935 calories. Okay. Okay, so Connor, let me run you through your stats and results. The online calculator, estimating your calories, 1,351. Quite a high number. The smartwatch, 1,058 calories. And then our power meter, or indoor trainer, 1,127 calories. Okay. So from those results, I think we can take away that the online calculator um, for both of us has given us the highest estimation of our calorie burn, but that is using a lot of estimations rather than physical calculations, I think. Um, there's a lot of variations in that the equation. When we move on to the smartwatch, both of us have experienced that the data gathered from that is the lowest calorie count from the work that we've just done. I'm not sure what the reasoning for that, but part of me wants to say this could be down to heart rate. Do you think heart rate could play into this? Because it can be affected by a number of different external factors. Yeah, I think so. Uh, I think it's kind of trying to get you that rough estimate. It's not looking, because everyone has different variations in heart rate. Um, yeah. Like my resting heart rate would be different to yours. Yeah. And you know, my zone one heart rate is different to your zone one. My max is different. So um, it is putting that rough estimation in for you know roughly what your work level is. I think is. heat also plays a big part in this. I mean, look at me, I'm still sweaty. Um, I, for one, am always boiling hot when I'm indoor training, and I think the amount of heat generated by your body really affects its efficiency. Um, so that needs to be taken into account. Yeah, but sure. the power meter result for both of us sits in the middle ground of our results, and I'm inclined to suggest that that is by far the most accurate way that we've used today to try and estimate our calorie burn. Yeah, for sure. I mean, that's just, that is literally just measuring the energy you're putting out through your bike and what you're expending through the pedal. So I think for sure it's the most accurate method. But I think the takeaway is you can still get a rough ballpark figure yeah. with whatever device you use. Um, but you need to take it with a pinch of salt mm -hmm. because it's going to give you a good idea of, you know, what energy you're putting out for a certain activity. So if you do an hour's ride, two hour's ride, you know, I need to fuel up by that amount or that yeah. amount. So that it's really good for that, but I just don't think you should get too caught up in, you know, oh, I'm, you know, I'm 150 calories and I'm, uh, yeah. I could have burnt off there and I didn't quite do that. I think it's, you, you use it for that rough estimate, take it with a pinch of salt yeah. and take from what you will. But it is interesting to see that there is quite a fluctuation between the different methods of counting this because we're talking in the realms of 150 calories, which might not sound like much, <clears throat> but that's um, in the realms of what? couple of pieces of fruit, small little chocolate bar. Yeah, and so if, you're, gonna, if you're off that amount every day. Yeah, and it's gonna add up if you're looking at your weekly expenditure, or your yearly expenditure, is this a huge margin? So mm. um, if you're doing that every single day, you could uh, yeah, you could run yourself into difficulties. Mm. So an interesting experiment, um, a lot of information to take away from it. I hope you found it um, insightful and helpful for your everyday today life. And um, let us know in the comments section down below what you think of calorie counting and whether it's very helpful or not. Yep. Mm. Thanks for watching, everyone. We'll see you in the next video. God, I do need a good shower now. <laughs> you too. <laughs>